The shooting in Dallas is having ramifications across the country. David is sitting down with Lincoln Police Chief Jeff Blymeister and Charlie Foster, the interim director of the Multicultural Center at UNL, right now with how it's affecting us here in Lincoln. David. Stephanie, thank you very much, and thank you both for joining me today. Uh, obviously a tough day for the nation, as a lot of people are asking questions, and there's a lot of uh, folks not sure how to feel about exactly what happened in the last 24, 48 hours. Chief, let's start with you with the conversation. What conversations are you having with your staff today with the officers? First off, that it's a dark day for our profession and that all we can do from here in Lincoln, Nebraska is offer our support, our condolences and prayers to the family of the officers that have been killed in Dallas and, and to the individuals themselves, um, their coworkers, their peers who are going through a, a, a tremendous adversity. What are you telling your officers here in Lincoln today? I'm sure there's a lot of folks that was the first thing on their mind as they were going out to do their jobs. Correct. What we're telling them is that it is a fundamental right for individuals to be able to express their views, to protest situations that have occurred in differing states. As fundamental as that is to us, at the core, it's also important for everyone to recognize that there is a process in place. The criminal justice uh, serves all of us very well and that everyone is innocent until, until proven guilty and that all the facts of any particular incident must come out. In law enforcement, we have a high degree of integrity in our profession. We must have that. We also recognize that we're held to a higher standard and we should be. And in that, so we're relaying that message that we are the example and not the exception. That people have the right to protest peacefully and to express their views, even if they're different from our own. And that we want to be able to serve and protect that community. Charlie, what are you hearing as far as the community conversation today? What are concerns out there? What are people talking about here locally? Um, what we've heard from our students and from our staff is that people are sad. They're deeply saddened by these events because it's not just one thing that's happened. It's these multiple things that have happened on top of each other. It's like you can't gather your breath before another thing has happened. Um, students. Um, have a lot of fears, honestly. Um, unfortunately, the police have gotten a black eye, and with that, there's a lot of fear. Fear for their safety, um, fear for um, what they need to learn to do to be as responsible citizens themselves. How do we learn this when it seems like um, there's um, no simple answer? Um, and so for those students and for our staff, we've sought to be a support and comfort. Chief, what's your response to that? What would you tell um, the, the, the students that are out there that have this, this fear towards the police force in general? We, can we need to take responsibility internally both at the Lincoln Police Department and as a profession in that it is incumbent upon us to develop legitimacy and trust with those that we serve, inclusive of all minority populations. We want to be able to have exchanges that they can come to us in times of trouble when they need help, they, they don't have a fear to call the police, whether it's an emergency or non-emergency situation. And we need to continue to work to, to have efforts to make that possible. I understand what Charlie is saying, and um, there's a, a history of distrust with the profession, and we need to look forward and be able to reestablish that trust. And that is something that we at the Lincoln Police Department are firmly committed to. And I know that there are programs that, uh, that you have in place. We're going to bring that up. You guys are going to stick around with us. We're going to continue this conversation right after the break. Welcome back. We'll continue our conversation following the deadly police shootings in Dallas yesterday. Thank you again to Chief Blymeister and Charlie Foster uh, with UNL for coming out and chatting with us today. Uh, where we left off was uh, that there are programs in place. The Lincoln Police Department is actively trying to get into the community to build some trust, to build some camaraderie with the community. Chief, what are you doing right now? At our core, community policing is, is a concept that we embrace that we live every single day. And that is inclusive of not only community engagement where we're going out to these different events and meeting with citizens, but that we're seeking their input. 
we want and we need the input of all the citizens that we serve and we hope we can provide that avenue for a voice. Some of the programs that we've recently have, we just completed five different pop with the cops in the mm -hmm. different geographical areas of the city. Uh, we had um, cops and bobbers, another community engagement. There's, there's been community conversations that I've been personally involved with, with a lot of different civic groups, but most recently at the Salvation Army, where we sat down in a circle and we fielded questions about some incidents that had occurred a week and a half ago involving an officer involved shooting following the homicide of Marlene Rashidi and the shooting of Desiree Mann. Charlie, do these work? Do you think the, that the people you're talking with in the community, the students you're talking with, are they taking part in these? Are these effective ways of, of building that gap? Um, I think they're great programs. Um, there are. Um, a lot of students on our campus. We have 26,000 mm -hmm. students, so it's very difficult to reach all of them. Um, but we have um, good representatives from our own campus police department that we that we feel like are out there trying to make the same kind of connections with our students. And so we're hopeful um, that students will feel comforted by some of those interactions. It takes time, though. Um, unfortunately, um, things have happened to get people to a place where they're frightened. So we have to work really hard every day to establish the kind of connections that the chief is talking about. Briefly, does this help, this conversation? Is this what we need, more of a community conversation on these topics? Dave, this is very similar to many of the conversations that I've had throughout the community during the first few months of my uh, appointment to chief of police. One thing that, uh, that Charlie mentions is that we need to look to engage a whole different um, age demographic right. because some of these community events are the people that we're speaking with are much younger than the students that you serve the community conversations oftentimes the population is older than the community that you serve and I, I've noticed that and I've even had conversations internally when we're doing these differing events that some of the population that uh, the college age students or the typical college age students in their uh, late teens early 20s uh, it's important for us to provide them to, an opportunity to have a voice too. And I'm certain that maybe we can establish partnerships uh, with Charlie and her staff to do that at the University of Nebraska. I apologize we're out of time. I think this is obviously a communication uh, that, that we could talk about this uh, probably for uh, days <laughs> to come for sure. But thank you so much for both of you for coming. Uh, we'll follow up with you in the days to come for sure, I'm sure. We'll be right back.